Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to be making Mountain House Chili Mac and Beef with Beans. Now, I'm not really a Chili Mac and Beef kind of person, but at the same time, I've never met a Mountain House that I didn't like. So let's jump into it. This one is the Pro Pack. So it's vacuum sealed and takes up way less room in your pack, especially if you're in a high elevation area. It's not gonna be expanding so much. So this one needs one and three quarter cups of water, which is about 14 ounces. So just gonna eyeball that. If you have a little less water, it's gonna be a little thicker. If you have a little more water, it's gonna be a little soupier. So not the end of the world. All right. Let's get our stove going. All right, we're gonna put our water on and let it boil up. And I will check back with you guys in just a minute. All right, so we are at a boil now. Woo. Turn that off. And we're gonna open this puppy up. Slide that to the side. Open this up. Another reason I'm excited to get this open is because, gosh, I'm terrible at packaging. There we go. Um, at the bottom of all the mountain houses, they have a saying, and I can't read this one because it's vacuum sealed too tight. Going getting tough, then stop. Stop, think, observe, and plan. That's really good advice because when you're in the moment and you're panicking, you're, you're not gonna get a good feel in the situation. So opening it up, I see the macaroni, I see the kidney beans, I see beef. Smell, it actually smells really good. It smells like a chili. So there's that for you guys. And we're gonna pour this in. Give it a good mix. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom to get the spices in there. The Pro Pack, I've noticed in stirring this, you really have to get in the edges because it's and then vacuum sealed, so there's those crevices. So just really make sure to scrape it so you get all that flavor. All right, so that's it now. So we're gonna seal it and let it sit for four minutes and then we're gonna stir it up and then it says let it sit for about eight more minutes. So 12 total on this. So see you guys in just a minute. All right, so it's been a little bit longer than 12 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you guys. Get a look at that. Wow, it smells really full of spices. Um, it says it's in a spicy sauce, so I'm not sure if they mean like a heat or if it's like the spices because I do smell a lot. I smell the chili powder, I smell paprika, I smell, smell garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bite. I'm gonna grab some hamburger, a noodle, 
and make sure I have a bean in there. So that's what that looks like for you guys, All right? Now, okay, so the bean actually is done and it's a really good tenderness on the bean. Which I was worried that the bean was going to be undercooked because that's really easy to do. The noodles are good. They're not mushy. And the hamburger has a good consistency as well. But it's, it's pretty bland, which surprises me because it smells so fragrant when you open it up. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take like a bite like I normally would just to see because it just smells like it shouldn't be bland. Does that make sense? All right, here we go. Okay. That is, it's way different. So don't just, don't just try to try a little bit of it. You gotta take like a real bite the flavors in the hamburger. So I don't know if it was seasoned and cooked up first before it was dehydrated, um, but it's in the hamburger. And there is a lot of hamburger in the sauce. They're smaller pieces, but it's all throughout the sauce. A lot of flavor in that. The flavor is actually really good. Um, I, I still don't like the noodles in it. The noodles just throw me off if it was just a chili. I would really like this, I think, but I can't get past the noodles, guys. Um, now, my favorite mountain house, it definitely does have a lot of flavor if you're somebody who likes noodles in your chili or likes hot dish. This is definitely one for you to check out. Um, for me, personally, I'm probably going to give this one five and a half out of 10. If you take like a real bite, you get a lot of that flavor um, and it's not spicy. So it's just a lot of spice, if that makes sense. Um, I wanna know what your guys' favorite mountain house is. Drop that in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.